Thanks for joining us today at Trove Bespoke Arts. Today I'm going to show you how to create an abstract composition from any still life you set up in your house using a viewfinder that you can make out of a piece of cardboard. Stay tuned. Before the middle of the 19th century, most painting had been focused on representing reality accurately with landscapes and portraiture. Towards the mid-1800s, lifestyles and art started changing, and subject matter artists wanted to explore was gesture, color, movement, composition, emotion. Representing reality exactly as it looked became less of a concern in art, and we ended up with movements like Impressionism, Post-Impressionism, Expressionism, and Cubism. Exploring abstract art can be a fun way for you to examine color, line, movement, shape, value, feelings, the world, your thoughts. It can be an amazing exercise for fun, for long-term practice, or just to try something new. Today I'm using some book pages as uh, my painting surface and I'm going to use some ink to do ink washes. I have a tray for my ink to go in and I'm going to have a few sticks that I like to use for ink work and brushes. I like to use a tapered brush to be able to have a fine point and a wider surface to paint with. I have a variety of sticks because I just like painting with sticks and some water. Here's my viewfinder from college. It's messed up. You need a box cutter and some cardboard. Here's a bunch. And all you need to do is take your cardboard, cut it into a little rectangle shape, and then cut a rectangle in your cardboard. And you have a window to see the world. Time to set up your still life. Got a trombone, check. I'm using a plant a crystal encrusted bulldog where could you get one of those sculpture golden idol that's normal now grab that viewfinder here's what you do with your viewfinder you point it at your still life and you choose a number of different parts of the still life to make a composition out of you're not going to draw exactly what you see through it. You're just going to choose an area that you want to focus on for now. Once you've chosen your area to focus on, you are going to start to sketch what you saw through the viewfinder. I can't show you the viewfinder and my page at the same time, but I chose a landscape oriented part of the still life. And what I'm going to do is be very selective about the lines I choose to include in my abstract composition. Let's get some ink going in here. Your composition might be dynamic with a lot of angular lines and a lot of moving, feeling lines. Your composition might be a little more static if you choose something that has more horizontal and vertical lines. You can do anything you want and you can make it anything you want. That's the best thing about this type of sketching and this type of exercise is you're just drawing whatever you choose out of that still life. I fill in some line work I like to come in with some value and have different values of my ink wash so I have some medium values I have some dark values and I leave some light spaces so that I can create this abstract composition change the balance of it make it more dramatic with higher contrast leave some negative space to look at and you can orient it a number of different ways to make it interesting to look at I'm 
going to do this a few different times with a few different viewfinder compositions that I chose. Key hands, occupational hazard. Now I'm going to further remove my composition from reality by choosing parts of the composition I initially painted and painting them with different colors on a different page. I'm being selective again about the shapes that I want to include and changing the colors to make it look a little different. This creates a new abstract composition that's something a little different that I can change again and again. Another way that I can create a new abstract composition from what I've already created is using my viewfinder again to choose part of one of my paintings I did. And now I'm going to choose the lines that I'd like to paint out of that one, be selective about how I'd like my composition to look, and paint from that viewfinder again. I'm going to choose a different part of that original composition and I'm going to start a new page. Use a marker to choose the lines from the viewfinder that I'd like to use in my new composition. Draw the lines I'd like to use and then come back in again with some ink to fill in some value 
and create an entirely new painting. Some of the best things about doing abstractions of a still life or abstractions of abstracted compositions is that you can then take these compositions and make them anything you want. You could transfer them onto a canvas, you could abstract them again onto another piece of paper, a wall, anything you'd like. Um, I created some figure abstractions using mixed media and collage in another video on this YouTube channel. Feel free to check it out. The point is that you can do anything you want with these abstractions and you can go anywhere you want with a viewfinder and create a composition out of anything that you happen to be looking at. At the end of this painting session, you might have 20 new paintings that you never thought you'd have and some interesting new compositions that you've come across and you can turn into other artwork if you'd like. I hope you had fun watching this session and I hope you get to try it on your own. Thanks so much for watching. Because abstract? <laughs>